If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and press that bell icon to get notified on every new upload. Now let's have a look at the clinical features. Clinical features. So I would say that the dentigid assist is a perfect marriage material. It is a perfect marriage material. I say this because the age range is 10 to 30 years and it has male predilection and occurs more often in white. So we have white male 10 to 30 years, a perfect marriage material, isn't it girls? So those men who are into fair and lovely fairness cream, kindly beware. <laughs> Kidding. No relation between fairness cream and dentigid assist by the way. However, it's true that the prevalence is higher for whites. So the age is 10 to 30 years, male and white. And in clinical feature, obviously we'll keep in mind that it occurs in uninterrupted tooth. But the question is, any uninterrupted tooth or some specific uninterrupted tooth? So we have a sequence for it. So let us see the sequence here. So this is our sequence. So we have most often they involve the mandibular third molar because this is the tooth which is most often impacted. And then we have the maxillary cuspid and then we have the maxillary third molar and then we have the mandibular second premolar. And they could also be associated with supernumerary teeth that is the extra of the bonus teeth God has given us. Okay. Let's come to the symptoms now. Symptoms. So what will the patient tell you? So it could be small or it could be large. It could be painless or it could be painful. So the small dentigerous cyst, they are usually asymptomatic and they are discovered by chance. Means the patient will come to you for let's say some other problem, some other problem and you took a radiograph of the patient and you find that accidentally you find that he has a dentigerous cyst also. So that is the case when we have small lesions. So the patient in this case will have no idea, means no complaints or no symptoms associated with this cyst. The problem will be something else. If the dentigerous cyst is large, it will expand the bone causing facial asymmetry. But it will still be painless. So painless is the normal characteristic of dentigerous cyst. It gets painful only when it is infected. So whether it is small or large, it will be painless. But if it is painful, that means it is infected. And by the way, large dentigerous cyst is uncommon. So this thing, this thing is uncommon. You won't find dentigerous cyst that is large. You won't often find. This is very rare. So there would be times when in radiograph you'll feel that, oh my God, this is a large dentigerous cyst. But eventually on further investigation, you'll come to know that it is odontogenic cyst or ameloblastoma. So to summarize the clinical feature, we have a perfect marriage material. The age is 10 to 30 years, male, white, all right, mostly in third molar. It could be small, large, painless, painful.